Hello and welcome back to the El Paso Tech Dynasty. I'm your host, Cosmic Trash, and let's get right into it. Today we have the last home game for guys such as El, El Paso's um, John Concepcion, Daniel Swain, and others. We are in here at Desert Field in El Paso, Texas, in the desert, on the border of Mexico. Here we go. Yellow Jackets coming out. It's going to be a good game. It's Louisville versus El Paso Tech. Here we go. Louisville wins the toss. They will take the ball first. A lot of seniors. It's senior night. Um, hopefully El Paso Tech can get the victory for their seniors. 95 kick power now. He's brought down, and I think Adam Young was able to get it there on the stop. Here we go. First and ten for Louisville. Harrison able to make the tackle on the edge. Louisville to take it. Ace formation now. Single back set. And a sack by Jones. Number 88. One of the defensive tackles getting in there. You don't see him every day making tackles in the backfield on the quarterback. It's third and eight though. Third and eight now. And it's intercepted. Wilcher makes the big play. Can El Paso Tech route Louisville? That would be awesome. It would just be the, the icing on the cake for El Paso Tech. In an empty set now. John Concepcion, his la one of his last games, his last game in El Paso. Uh, at home. Adam Young makes the catch. Heisman front runner Adam Young. First in the NCAA in yards. Snap Adam Young. Adam Young brought down. Direct snap to Adam Young. That's tough. Concepcion to take the snap. Rolling to his left. Concepcion brought down there. One run, 16 yards for John. Five yard line now for uh, El Paso Tech. Concepcion giving Adam Young the ball and he goes down at the one. Second and goal now. Concepcion. Adam Young jumps on and a fumble there. That's rough. Third and five now. Concepcion to take the snap. Rolling to his left. And it's intercepted in the end zone. Damn. Five receivers now. Yeah. 
And a dropped interception by Wiltshire. God damn, bro. And in com it's complete there to McLover. Here we go. Thorne brought down by one of the defensive linemen on our team. Fourth and seven now. There's the punt to Joe Shelton. Shelton off the edge, out of bounds there. Concepcion to take the snap. And he's brought down. John to take the snap now. We got TJ Gordon in the backfield. Gordon! Wow. The freshman running back next season will probably be one of the more underrated players on this team. Brent, er, Brent Murphy is going to be the primary back probably next year, but TJ Gordon has a lot of ability, and his junior season will probably be his first starting season. Gordon brought down there. Four seconds now. Swain has a touchdown there. End of the first quarter, the eight and three, Yellow Jackets, and I believe the five and six Cardinals. Inception to take the snap. Give Daniel Swain. He's brought down. Has 12 touchdowns on the season. Conception rolls to his left. Adam Young can't hang on. They're going to have to kick a field goal now, El Paso Tech is. 43 yards. Griffin to kick it. Here comes the kick. It's no good. Wide left. My God. I swear to God we can't make a kick. First and ten now. Jerome Krieg with an incredible tackle, stopping him from getting more than four yards. Five receivers out now. Come on. Will we be able to take the snap? Intercepted by Jason Brashers again. An incredible job by the El Paso Tech defense today. Look at that. Chaz causes him to get rid of the ball, and Brashers just did his thing. Concepcion to take the snap. Give to TJ Gordon. He's brought down. Concepcion to take the snap. Incomplete there, broken up.
John rolling to his left. Look at this. Concepcion pushed out of bounds. The senior QB running around now. Give to Adam Young. He gets like two yards. Second and nine now. Ball on the 18 now. Give Adam Young. He's in. Touchdown. Yellow Jackets, the Heisman contender, continuing to score touchdowns any way he can. My goodness, he's good. Look at that. Breaks the plane, gets in the end zone. Ball in the three. El Paso Tech up 7 nothing if they make this. And they'll make it. Kick is good. Five play, 44 yard drive for El Paso Tech now. They will go nine and three if they win this game. Kick off by Griffin. Look at this, it's McLover. Not McLovin, but McLover. Ball in the 28 for Louisville. Incomplete, broken up by the Yellow Jackets again. Their defense has been, our defense has been so stifling. Leveling Louisville anytime we can. And a sack off the edge. By one of our, is that corner or? No, it's not a corner. That's an, that's just an edge rusher. Who's 48? One of our, I think he's a freshman. He's been good in relief for Jared Webb. He's just been better, a better player. Third and 16 now. Third and 16. Oh my god, Brashers just got cooked. Randall Ryan able to make an incredible throw downfield. Two for six for 50 yards. Jeez Louise, he just made a great play. Edwards brought down. Six hurries, two sacks, two picks. Like, come on, bro. We got to stop them. Oh, come on. Oh, my God. Jarrell Krieg stopping him. Ryan in now. And Thorne is in the end zone. With a minute seven to go. They are able to score off the ground game now. It's tied. Going in to the end of the second quarter. We're tied up. Damn. We can win this game still. I have trust in our team. Kickoff. Daniel Swain. Swain brought down now at the 20. Adam Young. 
Adam Young brought down. 14, 18 plays, 118 yards. Like, Adam Young just so open. And he can make room after the catch. So, I'm fine throwing that ball right there. Incomplete, tried to go to Joe Shelton. John breaking a tackle but is sacked. Two for four on third down. Tried to throw to Joe Shelton. Spread punt now. We get the ball back at half, remember. Here's the punt. Flag, damn. That's a tough flag. Punt catch interference. They're going to get the ball to 46 instead of the 31 now. God damn. Come on, let's stop him. We tackle him at like the 40, and they're forced to call timeout. Chaz able to make the sack, and they're just going to let the clock run out, it appears. Four, yeah, I mean, ball in the 46, what do you do? We call fire green and hopefully blitz them and stop them. <clears throat> Brutta. How do we not stop that? It's 14 to 7. They walk off on the fucking. Uh, to the half. All we had to do was stop them. But no. They take the lead at the end. Oh, they're 5 and 5, not 8 and 3. Bro, what is going on now? Joe, let it go. Run the ball. We can run the ball. I don't mind. Ball in the 20. Louisville has more um, yards. Swain off the edge. And he's out of bounds. Daniel Swain. One of the best players in college football. Come on, continue to make, make plays this drive. That's all I need you to do. Swain off the edge. Daniel Swain pushed out of bounds by, by a safety. It appeared a like 40-something yard run. One of the fastest players in college football continuing to run. Look at that. Pushed out. Oh, he should have stayed in. First and ten. Ball on the 26. Concepcion to take the snap. Give Adam Young. And Young has brought down a nine-yard gain. Concepcion to take the snap. Adam Young 
He's brought down at like the two yard line. Ball on the two. Young brought down. Ball on the five now. John Concepcion, I could have just given it to Adam Young, but John Concepcion with an easy run for a touchdown there. And we tie it up, like, immediately. So it's 14-14. We just got to stop Louisville next drive, and we can still take the lead. Kick power is good. Ball in the 35, we're going to kick it. A.J. Griffin's kick is off. And we're going to we're going to be able to stop Adams. First and ten now. Bro, what are we doing? Jarrell Krieg. Here we go. Calling zone for a second. I want to see what zone does. It's second and ten. Jarrell Creed levels Austin. First and ten now. Brashers and others break it up. Second and ten now. Ball on the 19 for Louisville. This is crazy. What a game we're seeing. Krieg, you suck, bro. How do you not fucking get rid of that? Come on, bro. Jarrell Krieg can't stop um, the touchdown there. Two minutes to go in the third, and it's a 21-14 game for Louisville, them taking the lead. A five-play, 66-yard drive for the Louisville Cardinals. Kick off now to Joe Shelton. Shelton again brought down. Concepcion to take the snap. John to the edge. What a play, a 20-yard gain by one of the best running QBs you're going to have on a team. And it's tough that he is leaving in first and 10 now. Joe Shelton down the field. What a bomb by John Concepcion. We're at the six-yard line now. Oh, my goodness. 
John. And I don't know what the fuck we're doing there. That was a terrible call by me. Second and goal, ball in the 11. It's Adam Young with another touchdown on the ground. He has been unreal. Bro is probably the best player in college football. I think he should win the Heisman. Two touchdowns on the ground today. Able to catch the ball as well. You gotta love seeing Adam Young do his thing. Twenty-one to twenty-one. Four play, seventy-nine yards for the Yellow Jackets. And can they stop Louisville? A thirty second drive is crazy. Ninety one kick power. AJ Griffin's a terrible kicker. We actually need a kicker. Like legitimately. Oh my god. A great tackle by Cooper. Thirty one play, two hundred and seventy four yards for El Paso Tech. Compared to only like 20 plays for Louisville or something. Less yards as well. Brashers got to it, but it didn't matter. It was out of bounds. Here we go. Second and 10 at the 47. Chaz forced a fumble. Oh my goodness, he could have picked it up and taken it to the crib. Chaz Harrison showing why he is going to win the Bednarik Award. And look at this, come on. You can't stop that. Unbelievable. Concepcion to take it. Give. And a double option there to Colston. We don't see that play often. I want to see something here. Can I run that with... I want to see if we can run that with Adam Young, see how it goes. Let's try double option again, see how it works. Concepcion... Adam Young, he's brought down. I like that play call. It's kind of cool. Third and five now. Concepcion rolling to his left. It's Adam Young. He's brought down. 30-yard gain. Oh, my God, Adam Young is good at football. Able to get open. The man just gets open. He's only 5'7", but it doesn't matter. In the end zone, but it didn't matter. He was out of bounds. Second and goal now. Ball on the three. Give Swain. Swain breaks the tackle and is in. Daniel, look at this. Daniel Swain just went, nah, get off me. I'm into the end zone. The offense, and now it's a 28-21 to 21 lead. Probably the best offense in college football and a missed kick. Oh, my God. I was going to say the best offense in college football is probably El Paso Tech, at least running the ball. We're so good that we, we have so many weapons on at running back and receiver, and of course our quarterback and John Concepcion. Here's the kickoff by AJ. I don't think we've ever had a touchback this season. McLover brought down.
Here we go. First and ten. We stop him, and it's recovered. Jamie Thorne, those are his numbers. John Concepcion is still better than him. My goodness, our, we're good at football. Second and five now. Chaz leveled him. Third and two now. A six-point lead for El Paso Tech. And Johnson able to bring it in. 541 is what they average, I'm assuming. That's what it looks like. Ryan is playing fine. I wouldn't say he's great, but he's playing fine. A incredible grab by McLover. Those are the numbers for John compared to Randall Ryan. John is still the better player, better quarterback in my opinion. Because he also has the ability to run. We stop Johnson again. Third and three now. And we push him out of bounds now. Fifth in the conference. Three minutes to go in the fourth. It's 27 to 21 now. Another I formation set. We stop them. Let's fucking go. That's what we love to see. Being able to stop them. Come on, let's get to the quarterback. And, oh my elite, King is able to make one of the best plays you'll ever see. Look at this, catches it, okay, able to get away, breaks a tackle, breaks another tackle, and is gone for a touchdown, 28-27 to 27 now. Kick is good. One point game now. Here comes the kick by Louisville. Joe lets it go. Concepcion, give Daniel Swain. Oh my goodness, that's so annoying. They pushed him back into Swain. John. Oh my goodness, John Concepcion's got room. Oh. He actually had so much room right there. Whoever the left tackle is dominated. Concepcion. Give. Are we going to go down eight? Are we going to go down to eight and four? Adam Young, he's gone. Touchdown, Yellow Jackets. The Heisman front runner makes another big play. A 71-yard pass from Concepcion to one of the best players in college football. And a touchdown.
Ball on the three-yard line is 33-28. They have to go up by seven. It's important that we get this. And Adam Young can't get it. Five-point game. We just got to stop Louisville. Kick power, 99 by A.J. Griffin, and it just does that. And we stop them. That's a good stop. Ball on the 16 now for Louisville. I like them having five receivers out because we have the ability to pass rush really well if we do that. Incomplete there. Second and 10, a drop by one of the Louisville um, receivers. Watch out for a play action. We bring him down, Brashers. Just no touchdowns. That's literally the only thing, no touchdowns. We stuff him there, second and 10. Come on, let's be the best team in college football, or at least the best defense. 33-28 now. Chaz forces him to throw it into the ground, and Chaz Harrison showing why he's so good. Showing why he's probably a Ben Eric Award winner. And a Buckus Award. Chaz again stops him. It's fourth and 18. Chaz Harrison, he's at least hit the 30 sack mark. He's unreal. Able to stuff him with that tackle. Fourth and 18. Game on the line for El Paso Tech. Chaz Harrison forced him with the sack. And we stuff him with another sack off the edge. And El Paso Tech's going to win this football game. Ball on the 14 now. Give Daniel Swain off the edge. The senior does it again. On senior night, Daniel Swain into the end zone. Touchdown. El Paso Tech. We usually don't see the off tackle to the left. We saw it here. Swain able to dive in and secure the game for the Yellow Jackets. It's now 40 to 28, a 12 point game. Kick is good. Unreal how good El Paso Tech has been in the clutch. Last two games, at least. They upset Iowa, and now they're going to beat Louisville, it appears. And it's all because of the games from Adam Young and Daniel Swain in the clutch. First and ten now. Jarrell Krieg levels King there. Intercepted by Wiltshire. Now we're adding insult to injury. Ball on the 30 now. It's 40 to 28, 12 point game. Give Adam Young, Adam Young, Adam Young. Pushed out of bounds at the five. Adam Young continuing his dominance on the ground, through the air, whatever you need this kid to do. 
he will show how good he is at call or how good he is at the game of football. Definition of a playmaker. You gotta love it. Give to him again. Adam Young brought down at the one. 13 plays, 84 yards. Or 13 carries, 84 yards, and a two touchdowns. That's just on the ground. He has three touchdowns total. Um, looks like over 200 yards. Adam Young, his fourth touchdown. His second week in a row with four touchdowns total. Three rushing today and one receiving. Wow, Brent Murphy is finally on the field. <laughs> Brent has not been in the game, I don't think, at all today. But he finally is here. Oh, Brent, he's in, gets the two-point conversion. It's a 20-point lead for El Paso Tech. Brent Murphy finally doing something today. It's pretty rough because we are now, re after this game, that is the last home game. From John Concepcion, Daniel Swain. There's some other players as well. Hines! Whoa! Some other players as well. Let's look at our team for a second. Who else is a senior? Who else is a senior? I mean, is it... Joe Shelton's a junior. How, is, how long has Joe Shelton been on this team? Last one for Michael Harrison. He's been a really important player on this defense corners last one for Jason Brashers and he had picks today he played really well today for us um, Brandon Smith he has been incredible today and I think he has officially taken Jared Webb's spot at the middle linebacker position even though Jared Webb is a junior who has established himself as a great player Brandon Smith has just been so good this season at that linebacker position that he plays and Chaz Harrison 94 over he's unreal incredible today defensive tackle anyone now ernie jones is the d tackle that we have um yeah there's why is i don't know why he's there but ernie jones has been a beast off the edge mike bryant and i'd say pjp sutton no there's really no one that is a senior really anywhere nope yeah, no one on this team is a senior that, other than Daniel Swain um, and John Concepcion. Those are the only seniors that are actually important on this team that we're really losing. So it's awesome to see that they were an important part of the game. John didn't have his best season, best game this season or of his career. Daniel had a great game, though. He's unreal. Adam Young had a crazy game. Chaz Harrison leveled him. My goodness. The legend that is Chaz Harrison taking over for Jamal Jackson and filling the role that Jamal set. I'm going to just call that position Jamal backer because he's literally just playing the Jamal Jackson role, which is just fill the, fill the gap and get to the QB. That's all that Chaz has done. Incomplete. Michael Harrison there. The only other, like, really important senior that we have on this team. And him and Jason Brashers on that defense. They're the John Concepcion and Daniel Swain level importance on defense. Incomplete. Fourth and 15. This game is over. They're going to punt to Joe Shelton. I don't know how Joe Shelton, by the way, is still a junior. Like, I feel like he's been on this team so long and made such an impact for so long. Joe is brought down. We're going to kneel the... We're just going to kneel it. We're up by 20. No point in... Getting anyone hurt. John kneels it. If they call timeout, you guys are pussies if you call timeout. 
Those are John's numbers, I think, over his career as a rusher. Twenty-one, twenty seconds, nineteen. It's over. This game is over. El Paso Tech are gonna is gonna get the victory. Twelve, eleven, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. We win. Get the W. Win our last home game this season. And send off our seniors. In an incredible way, by beating Louisville, kind of beating their ass, honestly. We, we kind of crushed them. Our defense was really good. The offense, I'd say the offensive playmakers probably had their best game all around, arguably. Um, everyone played well on this team. Now, what I'm wondering is, do we have a Heisman winner? So, we are going to find that out in the next episode, and we're going to find out what bowl game. But with all that being said, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.